Hello, this is Ace, and this is going to be another Mega Man Revolution preview. Today I figured I'd show off a little known feature called Custom Man. What is the Custom Man, you ask? Why, it's only a character creator. Yes, really. And I'll be showing off a short demonstration. This might be the last video you see for a little while, but there'll be more information on why that is towards the end of the video. In the meantime, let's start off by previewing a character I made earlier. Arthur from the Ghouls and Ghosts series, or Ghosts and Goblins, or some other G and G, up, you, you know, your mileage may vary on which name you prefer, but either way, spooky time, and obviously we're going after Ghostman because of course we are. It's also probably the first time I'm showing off this Ghostman publicly, or not on Discord or whatever, but okay. Spooky. So, Arthur is a little bit different to uh, the other characters. Uh, I, my interpretation of him was to be a uh, glass cannon, but highly maneuverable, which is a bit weird because he can go some goals, he isn't all maneuverable, but I digress. He can duck and shoot, he can jump, he can double jump, like base. He has a increased jump height and a fairly significant dash. However, as will be uh, readily apparent in just a second, let's actually get into the stage for a start. Oooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
This is the art sprite sheet bit author. You'll notice there's a lot of blank spaces. The actual custom um, template looks more like this, which is a you know, typical Mega Man edit. So there's a lot of variety in poses. Um, and a lot of these you're just not going to need for your character. So pick and choose accordingly. But this is what I had ended up with for Arthur. The custom man sheet is made up of 48 by 48 pixel blocks. And that's how much real estate you've got to work with. But bear in mind, especially large characters will offer a fair bit of hitbox dissonance if you uh, go too wild. But yeah, you've got it there just in case you've got like long ears or whatever. Ooh, can you have a character with long ears? I don't know. Additionally, a custom man is also made up of a, a couple of additional sheets, such as one for the mugshot, one up, weapon icon, and of course the weapon itself. In this case, you're given five animation frames. Um, if you're just doing a straightforward projectile like I did with Arthur, this will be a repeating animation, as you saw. However, if you're doing something that's either aimed or homing in, something that like sort of curves, this will be used for rotations instead. Once all the uh, sheets are saved in the in a folder you create inside the custom and files folder, name it name it to what you like. Uh, make sure all the sheets are named correctly, and then we can move on to Revolution. So, there's a little intro here when you boot up Custom Man. Okay. Sure. Let's just get to it, shall we? Here he is, here's Arthur. And Custom Man gives you quite the database to, to build, mess around with, so. Don't worry about ever running out of, out of uh, character spot slots. You can also copy and import and export and whatever you like. So once you've got a character you're happy with, you can just really share to other people like exporting. There's a couple of X things I exported earlier. This is the one I literally just exported, so that should be a copy of Arthur. That's the Arthur I literally just played with. Let's uh, let's edit this guy. So let's have a quick look. Uh, so first, you can obviously name characters how you like. You can also uh, assign pronouns as well. Uh, of course, to actually load in the uh, graphics, you can load in. I only got the two right now. Uh, Arthur, who should just load in successfully because he's already completed. But if something's gone a bit wrong with the sprites, like here, uh, it should just tell you what the error is, and you can go fix it. Uh, the graphic there was made in a previous version and we've just kind of changed things up lately. But it made a nice example. So the meat and the potatoes of Custom Man is in fact these two things here. So let's have a look at traits. These are the traits we can give characters. So there might be more traits in the final game. This is obviously still a work in progress. But it gives you an idea of what you're doing. So, you can choose from any attack style, from having a melee attack, uh, kind of, I think, like, roll, in Powered Up, you can into that. There's also Normal, which is just more or less what you expect with Mega Man character. You can also aim like base, you can also run and aim, if you so wish. You can also turn off gaining boss weapons, and these are just a bunch of examples. So this is sort of what I set up for Arthur, which was normal ammo use. Um, and yeah. These are the attack traits. Now there's also, there's at the moment five, up to five pages of traits. So here's where you can set up how you wish the uh, maneuverability. So quite a few things here, like, so you'll notice points at the top of the screen, and minuses and positives. So certain traits will cost points, so anything with a minus will cost that many points. So if I wanted to, say, give him a power generator, I would use up my remaining points. Go off, gain points. You can also take a negative trait gain more points to use elsewhere, so that's how this system is balanced. 
But Arthur, um, to replicate what I want with the ghouls and ghosts, how little health you get in ghouls and ghosts, um, I literally assigned him every single weakness I could, um, even, I think, elsewhere, cut his health in half, I just added all the weaknesses I could, and he still, with the other bonus, with the points I gained from doing all that, I could just assign a lot of movement options, make him fairly powerful in terms of weapons, and there's also just all sorts, such as having, uh, allowing to, the characters to guard, you know, crouch, and increase the amount of item drops, and how effective items are, uh, are, and even how bolts work in the game, and it's just little things such as Arthur will eventually ground the water here, and you can even uh, assign a death animation. I didn't get to actually assign that. So, so that's cool. So that's just loads and loads of options there, as you can see. But you can also customize your default weapon quite a bit. So there's a I'll try right here thing. So I'm gonna change something up here. Go make a sine wave and a triple shot. It did explode. Yeah. And this is where you can also assign what sub weapons are found in stages. Now this is um, this screen will be changed in the final game. At the moment it doesn't actually tell you which stage each weapon is assigned to. That's going to change, that is something I've just brought up today as I've gone through this video, so that will be changed, you will see what stages they are assigned to, but you can assign different sub weapons to stages. Um, you can also test a character. So, here's Arthur and a, a slightly wacky, <laughs> slightly wacky buster, shall we say. Slightly wacky, just a little wacky. Also, because it didn't show up in the stage, was Arthur was immune to sort of a, only took damage twice. It wasn't an instant kill, but here there's the kill some ghosts there, which I didn't quite get the show off. You could also see uh, one up in action as well. So let's make our own custom mount here, shall we? So, uh, you can use the mouse here, which might just be easy in trying to use the, uh, keyboard. So let's make, let's make a, a radical, a radical robot, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a radical bot. So, we can obviously name the character what you like, uh, you can assign another gender you like, so. So, obviously, you know, E, G, A, M. So, you can assign... Names, pronouns, go, you know. You do what you feel is right for the character, of course. Uh, efforts. So this is where you load in sprites. I'm not going to do so, because... Obviously I want to keep the default graphics here. But let's look at the sprites. So we can sign quite... But he takes, so this is just all the different options you've got lying around here. And you've got five pages of them, and there might be more in the future. Um, it's all still a work in progress. Um, hopefully I don't inadvertently come across a bug whilst recording. Uh, <laughs> so, obviously you can spend a long time in this menu, and I don't want to do that on camera, because that would be a bit boring to watch. And here's, we're going to test out the custom man. So you've got this little test room too, obviously. Test your character out. Well, I don't have too much of a... Op movement options, which is what I'm noticing here, because I didn't really look at that. So, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to happy with that. We're going to get some... I'm going to mix up the traits a bit more. Oh, that looks... that's, uh, that's a little familiar. So, you could spend quite some time in this editor, just 
fine tweak in your character. And honestly, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. This is a really nifty middle mode, which I don't think anyone saw coming. <laughs> Less of all me. <laughs> and I'm in the Discord server. So, let's just throw them into a stage. You've already seen that man before. Well, let's see how well they, they handle. Well, we've already taken a hit. That's uh, not great. Ah, uh, this poor big boss is going to die very horribly to just about every single custom and set up ever made. <laughs> oh, dear. Perhaps I should stop giving all my characters crap health bars. I don't, I don't know, just a thought. So uh, yeah, um, uh, Radical Box, not quite as uh, powerful as Arthur was, it turns out. Uh, so, this is something you can just tweak as you go. But anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed that preview of just this really cool feature in the Revolution Remix. Feel free to ask further questions in the comments below, and uh, Mike will probably answer where, where he can. Okay, so there's going to be a couple of things to address now. One of which is, yes, the AMA is still going to happen, it's just things have been a little difficult. In case you haven't heard already, we were in the middle of recording that, and there happened to be a tornado warning in Mike's neck of the woods. So, it was literally a case of, oh crap, let's stop recording, go deal with that. <laughs> yeah, it's typical. And then, you know, followed up with me being ill, and then someone else being ill, and it'll happen, it just, we need to be able to get together. That might take a little bit of time. At the moment, where I live is a, in a bit of organised chaos, shall we say. We're having another family member move in with us. We are not ready for that, there's a lot of furniture to build, and all topsy-turvy. I literally have nowhere to record. It was a small miracle I got this amount of time to do so. And in fact that family member is having to sleep in the bay room where this computer setup is. It's a bit difficult. That being said, once we're done I should hopefully get a lot more privacy and quiet in the future and we can get back on track. But in the meantime I won't be able to do much of anything. So just bear with me. Okay, that's all I've got to say today, and I hope you enjoyed this little preview. So, uh, anyway, this is Ace, and I will catch you around.